Keep them on YouTube earlier than one. Yes, I got some time when you have to work, you know? Mm, I so. Okay, okay. We're live now. I'm going to start because um, we have company. While I was attending, it was almost the best experience I ever had. Like I was in class, but I wasn't. I would give the school the full 10 out of 10 because the teachers, at, the teachers take the opportunity to help the ones that really needed it. To the upcoming students, this is the best decision you have made and it will benefit you in the near future. Just talk to your soul and say CDP Maths Lab eSchool was founded by Ronique Bernard in August 2009 with a vision to see our students receive a solid education with an emphasis on developing their cognitive skills. The school is committed to developing individuals who will have a positive impact on the society. The class is the class it really 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 helped me and if you are going to see CSEC I really really recommend this class so you could always give it a try the prices are really really reasonable and it is really really worth it for online class like myself you would be pro because on that day or on that night when results are out and you open your login and you open your results that feeling it really 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 is great all right good night everyone good night all right i want to say a special good night to well first um those who are in zoom Teresa and nicole shall just coming on um, I want to say a special good night to Elaine, Mrs. Treasure. I uh, have a nice last name there. Um, good night to Vivet. And also, I am seeing a newcomer. Um, seeing a newcomer. Good night to Shanice Joseph. I hear, I'm, you're saying that you are an HSB student and you're frustrated with CXC. Well, um, well, we're going to start class with devotion and we're going to lift you up in prayers, right? Um, good night to Ronalia Austin. Good night, Ronalia Austin. And of course, good night to Gabriel McPherson. So good night to you all. We're going to start. We always begin our classes with devotion. So if you're the first time you're joining us, um, welcome to CDP Labs Radio Services. Um, we begin with our devotion first because you can never do anything without God. And of course, we will we have a, a very competitive um, nights on a Wednesday night where our students will compete. But tonight, we are going to start off with the lesson and then we're going to go into our work or a competition and then we'll go into our worksheet. So I, well, Shanice says, six is not grading properly these days, bringing down my self-esteem. Um, Miss Joseph, don't worry yourself, man. You'll be taken care of. If you are doing the exam this year, don't worry yourself, all right? Okay, so we're gonna start the devotion first and then 
we'll get straight in the matter. Just give me one little second, please. One second. So let me start here. All right, so our devotional text comes from the book of Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And it reads, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. So who is speaking here? The Lord. God is saying that he know the thoughts that he think toward you. And the word you there is a pronoun. You know, God is speaking to you. He's speaking to me. He's speaking to every one of us. He's speaking to those in Zoom. He's speaking to those who are on YouTube. He's speaking to all of us. So God is saying that he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards us. And he continues to say, thoughts of peace. So if you are, you know, worried about the exams and what is coming on, don't, no need to be frustrated, Sister Shanice Joseph. There's no need to be frustrated. Good. Um, he says he has thoughts of peace and not of evil. And God has promised to give us an unexpected end. So whenever you're feeling down or frustrated, always remember that God has is, is thinking about you. He's thinking about you. And he has promised to give us peace. He has promised to give us unexpected end. So you expect to perform well. God has promised to give us an expected end. So as we get ready for our, our classes, let us listen to our theme song for tonight. And we will pray afterwards. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your head. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness. Of God.
Oh, loving fathers, we're about to commence another human and social biology class, dear God. We just want to pause for a moment to give you thanks for sparing our lives to live to see another Wednesday night. Father, as I come before you to present these students before you, I pray, oh God, that you will Forgive me of my sins, all of us of our sins, that we have trespassed against you. And we thank you, O oh God, for being a forgiving God. And as, we, as you forgive us, put in our heart that we'll forgive others as well. So, Lord, you have said to us that your thoughts towards us are thoughts of peace and not of evil. You have promised in your word, dear God, to give us an, ex an expected end. And so, dear God, we are trusting in you. And we know that you're a God who keeps his promise. So we're saying thank you for that expected end. And Lord, I want to place the students before you now. Students who are, there's Shanice Joseph, who has mentioned that she's frustrated. And I pray, oh God, that you will bring peace to our hearts. Let her understand that you are God and this earth is yours. You are in charge. Just as all you have told Moses that you could compel the Pharaoh to deliver your children. Bring peace to our heart. To let her know that you are in charge. You are in control. Be with every student who is on Zoom. Teresa. Nikosha, and the students who are watching from YouTube. Pray, O oh God, that you'll be with them as they prepare for their exams. Pray, O oh Lord, that you will, as they study, that you will get into their brain cells. You'll recreate these brain cells, dear Father. Empower them, dear God, with your love, with your strength, dear Father. We pray, O oh God, that at the end of the day, whatever they read, they will not only recall, but they will comprehend and be able to use to use, to respond to exam questions, dear Father. Lord, we ask that at the end of the day, glorify your name that there will be success and their success will bring honor and glory to your name. For this we ask now in Jesus' most precious and worthy name we pray. Amen. All right, so we're going to go into um, good night to Jennifer Khan. Um, uh, I'm not sure how long they take Miss um, Joseph to query, but I can find it out from you. At the end of the class, I'll give you the WhatsApp number so you can continue that conversation with me, all right? All right, so now we're going to get into our health, our health talk. And of course, tonight we'll be looking at how can we prevent brain cancer? So as of tonight, I'll be looking at how we can prevent different cancers of the body. Now, to prevent brain cancer, we need to increase vitamins, particularly vitamin C and vitamin E. And we are seeing a picture of a fruit, kiwi. It may be expensive, but once you can afford it, or you save towards getting yourselves some kiwi or other source of vitamin C and E, I get to understand that um, the bell pepper or what you call sweet pepper is highly rich in um, vitamin C. 
a matter of fact, it is even richer in vitamin C than, than the, um, the oranges, right? So try the bell pepper or the, the sweet pepper as you refer to, to get your vitamin C. Now, what should you reduce? I prefer to look at the elimination of, not just reduce, but to eliminate. Eliminate the consumption of hot dogs. Why? The consumption of hot dogs by pregnant women increases the risk of cancer in their children. And my daughter was diagnosed with cancer at um, between the years, ages of two and three. And while I was preparing this slide, the thought came to my mind, I wonder if. So if you are pregnant or you know anyone who's pregnant and they are cautioned them with this very much information, I mean, that particular year, a lot of children were diagnosed with cancer and was housed at the, the Bustamante Hospital in Jamaica. Um, eliminate hamburgers. I know some persons love hamburgers, but eliminate hamburgers. Eliminate cured and roasted meat. Hmm. Eliminate processed pork products such as boiled ham. I know some of you love to eat your ham during Christmas Day, but unfortunately, um, it's not healthy for you if you're going to prevent brain cancer. And of course, avoid or eliminate bacon and fried foods. So this is one way that you can um, prevent brain cancer. And I, and I decided to do a lot of um, cons conversation about cancer every Wednesday night that we have classes, or the next three Wednesday nights that we have classes, is that um, a lot of persons are being diagnosed with cancer. So we have to find a way how we can protect ourselves, all right? So now we're gonna get straight into our lesson for tonight. Now I want you to take a very good look at the picture, Teresa Nicosia, and those persons who are in YouTube. Um, the question is, what is the lesson based on tonight? What is the lesson based on tonight? What is tonight's lesson based on? On. What was that? I said. The eye. Okay, very good. So it is the eye. All right. So you're seeing a, 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 a patient or a gentleman is at the optician. Um, apart, well, 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 he's he's purchasing a, a, a glasses. Probably went to the 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 the, the optician. And he probably did an eye test and discovered that um, he has some form of eye defects, right? And we'll be looking at some of these eye defects. Oh, yes, you're correct, um, Elaine. We're looking at the eye. No, no, uh, Miss Joseph, we're not looking at the brain cancer. That was just for a health talk, but we are looking at the eye. You're correct, Elaine. Yeah, so tonight our lesson will be based on the eye. Now, I am going to tell you, make sure that you're making notes and that you're taking in, you're recording the information, what you saw or what you're seeing rather, and what you're hearing, because you're going to need it for the worksheet. I tell you that, okay? Yes, we bet we're talking about the eye. All right. So, let's continue. So, for tonight's objectives, we'll be looking at uh, relate the internal structures of the eye to their functions, explain how images are formed in the eye, explain accommodation in the eye, and number four, describe the causes of and the corrective measures for eye defects. Right. Good. So let's roll. Now, here's another picture. Describe what is happening here. Let's hear it. What is happening here? I'm waiting for you guys. Or not. What is happening here? It looks like he's driving. He's driving. Okay. Anything else? What is happening? What is happening here? What is happening? 
term, probably he's not able to see far enough. Okay. Oh, so, he's not exactly. He's not able to see far enough. All right. Now, this is how I wanted to make a notes. This is how I wanted to make notes. I, you know, long I asked for that um, picture of something, and I don't want nobody to pay me any mind. But that's all right. Okay. Elaine says he's having blurry vision. Very good. Um, Vivet is also saying he can't see properly. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. What about um, Shernice, Joseph? And what about Gabriel and Ronella Austin? What about you guys? We want to see, we want to hear from you. Okay. Miss Joseph says, Shernice says he's looking like he's having problems with his eyes. All right. Okay. Good. All right. So, so we hear that he's not able to see what was it? Was it far? You said or not able to far, see? Far, far. Far. Okay. And you're right. So he's experiencing blurred, distant vision. Therefore, the medical name for this condition is called what? Myopia. And what is myopia? This young man is very much short-sighted. Good. Sure, what was the word again? Myopia. Oh. All right. So Renella Austin is saying having problems to see. That's good. Good night, Alicia. I wonder what you'll do tonight for the competition. I hope you'll do well tonight, Alicia. Okay. Oh, Nicole she is here. <laughs> All right. Good. So this man is the, 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 the medical name is myopia. And the common name is short-sightedness, good? Or refractive errors. Now, I want you to look at this picture right here. Now, if, if his vision is normal, he's able to see objects uh, far away very clear, good? And if you, if you notice both pictures, he was attempting somewhat to put on his um, glasses. So he's short-sighted. He's not able to see objects far away. Good. Now, what are the causes for that? Why is experiencing myopia? What, is, what are the causes? The causes are very simple here. Um, he's, he, well, he's obviously nearsighted. Um, the eyeball is too long. The eyeball is too what? Long. The eyeball is too long long. Note that the eyeball is too long. Now, how is it corrected? How is it corrected? Now, I want to look at the other picture. Let me take out my little um, thingy, 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 thingy here, my spotlight. Now, if you notice, here is some dotted lines. It's showing us the normal length of the eye. Now, what happens is that the, because the eyeball is long, the, the focal point, which should, be, which should land on his retina, which is this part right here, is formed in front of the retina. Good? So this is in front of the retina and not on the retina. That is it. So one, the eyeball is long, so because it's long now, the focal point will fall before or in front of the retina, as you can see that. Good? All right. And I see that Alisa is saying that it can be corrected using, um, using concave lens. Good? Exactly. Remember that. Because they, they have a way of asking you, how can this eye defect be corrected and it is used, it is called a concave lens, good? Now, so it is corrected by using concave lens. As you notice, it caves in, it caves in. It is called concave because it caves in, good? All right, so there it is, there it is. Wonderful, good, so it corrects, so concave lens, or otherwise called a minus lens, it is used to correct myopia or short-sightedness. Myopia is caused by one, the eyeball is too long, 
And of course, the focal point or the image is formed in front of the retina and not on the retina. By right, it's supposed to be formed on the retina and not in front, not behind, but on the retina. All right, let's continue. Everybody understand that? Was that clear? Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Okay, wonderful. Let's continue. All right, so now we're gonna look at how is the image form? How is the image form? Can you look at the picture and tell me what you observe? The first picture right here. What you observe? Tell me what you observe. And you know I don't like a quiet class, right? Like when you speak. So look at it and tell me what you observe. What is the picture telling you? What's the picture telling you? And I want those in YouTube as well to look at the picture and, and give me a sentence or two explaining what the picture is actually telling you. Once you're in our YouTube class, I expect that those persons who are there not just to be visitors, but to be participants. When it comes to CDP Labs Edge of Service, you must be participating. All right, so Alisa is saying that the image is upside down on the retina. Um, is, is she correct? Teresa or Nicole, is she correct? Yes, sir. She is correct. Good. So you never see it as well? You never see it? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. So you never see that? Okay. And you just need to talk more. So the image is formed upside down on the retina. Good? Or inverted. Now, what else is the first picture telling you? What else is the first picture telling you? What else is the first picture telling you? Now, while I listen for you, uh, so Shani says the eye, that the eye is connected to the brain. Uh, well, uh, Alisa says the image is, well, what, what the, they say that the eye is connected to the brain. Uh, it is connected to the brain by what? Uh, Gabriel says light rays being traveled in a straight line from the flower to the eyeball. That is true. That is also true, Gabriel. So you see that the light rays are traveling in a straight line from the flower to the eyeball, which is true. But what happens to the, to the light rays? What happens to the light rays as it enters the eye? Can somebody tell me? What happens to the light rays as it enters the eye? Okay, Alisa says that the brain processed that information. So she's correct. So the picture also tells us that the brain and the brain allows us to see to see the object what? Upright. Good. All right. Very good. So come, come Teresa and Nikosha, talk to me. What you observe about the light rays that travels in a straight line, but as it enters the eye, what happens? What do you notice happening? The picture tells you. Look at the picture and tell me. If you're using a smartphone, expand the image. If you are on your laptop, click on view option, and then you're going to uh, expand the image. You can zoom on to yourself so you can see clearly. All right? You click on view option, and you do that. Come, talk to me. What do you observe about the light rays? Anybody? Nikosha, we're speaking and I'm not here. Teresa, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm here. So look at the picture and talk to me now. Sir, I'm seeing a reflection. You're seeing a reflection. But I, want, I want you to use a simpler word. All your reflection you're seeing? A simpler word, sir. Mm -hmm. Image, sir. No, look at the light ray. Look at the look at the light ray. As it as it enters the eye right here, what, what happens? Look at the light ray. What happens right there, sir? All right, that's what Shani says laterally inverted. Um, Alisa, the light rays are bent. So Alisa says, look, you know, how oh, you not seen it? You guys are not seen it. You don't see the light rays bend. You don't see that bend. You don't see that bend. 
Yeah. No, not, not disappointment. No. I'm a real artist. Better not go on YouTube and make Alisa least them and company come in a Zoom. No, disappointment, all right? I, I, I have to give the, the people in YouTube a chance to join us in Zoom. I'm not a disappointment. I'm not, I'm not using the eyes. Like, like I need a glasses, too, right? But anyway, the light ray is actually bends. Good? It refracts. So the word refract means to bend. Good. All right. It's reflected, but it's shallow. Actually, it actually is reflected. The light is reflected from objects in, um, into our eyes, basically. Good. And the light passes through the cornea. Right. And the and lens and focuses on the retina to form an inverted object. That is how the image is actually being formed. Good. So. Light rays are being reflected because notice what's happening now. The light shines onto the flower. All right, let me draw something and show you. Uh, let's say that the sun is right here. Good. This is the sun. This is the sun. And so the light rays, let's use a yellow line instead. So the light rays hits the flower and then reflects. Good, light rays hits the flower and then reflects. So when it reflects now, it goes towards the eye, it enters the eye, and when it reaches into the eye, it will bend, and this one will bend as well, and then it will be focused onto the retina eventually you seen that you guys saw that yes sir okay then that's exactly what took place all right so that is why they said that the, the light is reflected from the objects so of course when the sunlight shines the light from the sun hits the flower it will reflect so our bounce up that's like you throw a ball on a wall you throw a ball on a wall and you go Boom and reflect. It bounces back off. So the same with the light rays. The light rays hits the flower and then bounces back or reflected from the flower and then enters the eye. That, so when you're talking about how the images form, you have to mention the reflection of light. You have to mention light traveling in a straight line, as Gabriel said. And of course, and of course, and of course, when it enters the eye, it refracts or bends. I wanted you to look at the picture and look for a simple word, but honestly, I'm not understanding. You guys are looking at the picture and talk? Come on now. It's better than that. It's better than that. It's better than that. Otherwise, I'm going to it from class. It's better than that. All right? It's better than that. All right. Now, let's look at the, the, the picture, the last picture here. So you can see you now, we're looking at some of the structures of the eyes. Some of the structures of the eyes right here. So we have the lens. This is the lens, right? This blue shape here is a lens. And now it is actually convex. It's a, it's just, it now has a convex shape. Good? It now has a convex shape now. Then we have the pupil. And the pupil, of course, is an opening in the eye. And, and um, I hope I won't say anything that, that, that you guys get upset, but I am seeing most ladies um, in the HSB class, two of you on YouTube and the rest on, sorry, two of you in Zoom and the rest on, on most YouTube you belong to, the two of you in Zoom and the rest on YouTube. Um, the, the cervix is like the pupil. Yes, yes, yes. Same way. The cervix is like the pupil. Good. So it's an opening in the eye and in the cervix, you know where that is, good? So we're introducing the next system that is coming up, which is reproductive system. We're looking forward for that one, right? Now, so, so, the, so that's the pupil. Then we have the cornea, this part here. Now, that is the transparent part of the eye. Now, some of you might know an eye defect or eye disease called conjunctivitis, otherwise called pink eye. Ever get pink eye before? Ever get pink eye before? 
Never get it yet? Okay. All right. Conjunctivitis. That is what is being affected, the cornea, right? It is, it is actually transparent, right? Now, and you have the iris now. The iris in itself is basically like a muscle. Good? So the iris itself now can, um, it, it, when, 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 when you're in, when you're in um, bright light, the iris tends to close up. And when the iris close up now, the pupil gets smaller. Now, so the pupil will get much smaller, right? Now, if it is now that when you are um, in dark light now, you're going to recognize now that, um, that in dark light, you will have your, 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 your iris now will, will get, it will, 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 will uh, let me see now, contract, right? It, it pulls back. And then now your pupil get enlarged so you can take in more light so you can see. Good. Now, of course, uh, I'm going in a bit of information now. So that's a, that's, a, that's a bit of information about the iris. Then we are going to, we're looking now at the retina. So the retina right here, good. The retina is made up of two different types of cells. It's called rods and cones. Now the rods enable you to see in dark light, dim light. And of course the cones enable you to see in, well, much littered or bright light. You want to put that, put it that way, bright light. Good. So your retina is made up of two types of cells. It is called, uh, the, you have the, the rods and you have the cones. The rods allow you to see in dark light and the cones allow you to see in brighter light. All right? Now, the optic nerve now, as it clearly says, it sends messages to the brain. Good? So the optic nerve is a receptor. The optic nerve is a what? Receptor, a sensory neuron or a sensory nerve. Good. So the nerve, the, 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 the light energy that enters the eye will stimulate the optic nerve. And the optic nerve now receives a message from the energy from the light, the, 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 the light rays, and passes that message on using the, 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 the nerve impulses that, that is called electrical impulses. Good. Yes, Vivet. Rods and cones where the images form. Yes, Vivet. Good. So, so now, so the, so, so, so the, so the, so the message runs, uh, runs along the optic nerve and goes to the brain. The brain will process that information now and give you an interpretation. All right? That is what happens right there. Somebody said they are on YouTube watching as well. Is that so, Nicole? Sure, you're on YouTube too. In your culture, my brother. cousin. Oh, your cousin. Okay, okay. All right, all right. So that's where we're going now. So, so, so understand now how, how, how the eye is being formed. Now, let, let me say this to you guys and, and those who are watching from YouTube. It is all well and good that a teacher is here explaining how the image is formed, but you know we have some called memory. And some of us will forget easily. Some of us won't. Now, what can you do to not forget what I just said or just show you? Simple. Get yourself a picture of the eye. Print it. Get yourself two different um, type of lens. Picture of the lens. Cut them out. And you have your convex and your concave. Get yourself some strips, paper strips, and get an object where you can show that the, the line is running from, the light is running from the object, and you show you another paper strip to show that it actually bends. And, and, and so you can talk about it and explain yourself and teach yourself some more. I, I can only say this, but to some of you, it goes on deaf ears, and I'm really upset now. It goes on deaf ears. And that don't make no sense. They really talk about you can't remember. We're on YouTube, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it under control. After the live ends, I'll get back to that. It doesn't make sense. I'm giving you the right information, the right technique, so you can go into the exam and be able to execute, and you're not practicing it. 
it makes no sense. Okay. I hope those on YouTube, I'm a very, I, I, this is the home for grade one students, not for people who don't want to learn and perform well. I am tired of it. Okay. Now, for those persons on YouTube, um, that you have to follow instructions given, given by a teacher if you're going to perform. The more you, the exam is based, most of the weighting of the exam is on use of knowledge. So you have to use the knowledge, not just to read and write down something. Get something, create a little toy, little like thing. And pretend that you're an optician explaining to a patient what is happening to him and show him how this, eye, this lens in the eyeglass is going to fix the problem. That's how you do things. So coming to the class is one, but doing what you're asked to do is another. And it, that part is the more important than coming to class. All right, don't talk. Okay, Vivet, I'm going to continue. Thank you very much, Vivet. All right, now here's a picture of the high. Now you must be able to identify um, some of the structures and also give its function. Now, so we have the, the most common, I'm gonna look at focus on the most common structures now. You have the cornea, which is this, as I told you before, this is the cornea. This blue area here is a cornea. Right here is a cornea. Then you have the pupil, which is the opening right here between the iris. Good, they have the ciliary muscle, which is right here. So this muscle now, when it contracts and relaxes now, it affects if the, if the iris will close up or it will get wider, right? Pulls away, good. So this is a muscle that, 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 that controls the activity of the iris. Now, you have the suspensory ligament, which is attached to the lens itself. Good. As you know, that ligament, now the ligament in this case is acting like um, a tendon that attach muscles to bones. Eh? Good. So this is a suspensory ligament right here. And you need to pay close attention to these, to the suspensory ligament and the lens where we start talking about the accommodation part of, of the eye. Good. Now, you, you have the, the um, it's a clearer right here, and you have the choroid, and you have the retina right here, and of course, you have the blind spot right here. So obviously, if the, if the, um, if you find that the, the, um, the, the, the images land on the blind spot that you obviously will not be able to see. And then you have the optic nerve. So make sure you know to identify the optic nerve, the retina, the ciliary muscle, suspensory ligament, the lens, the iris, the pupil, and the cornea. Good? Make sure you know how to identify those structure. And Miss Joseph, for you to um, get rid of your frustration, you have to get some of these. It does give me a call and I, and I text me and, I, and I'll call you and, and help you to get over your, 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 your stress right there. All right? So you, you, you can, I can speak to you when the class is finished. All right. So you can research the functions for yourself. 
All right, that's easy. But of course, the pupil allows light to enter. The iris will 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 um will cut will can close up to, to cause the, the pupil to get smaller or, or larger, right? The lens, of course, helps in the refraction and the focusing of light on the retina. Good. The suspensor ligament supports the lens because the lens can sh change shape as well. All right. All right. So it is, so it is now in a concave shape that you're looking at. A, well, convex, rather. All right. Now, I want you to look at the picture now and tell me what you observe. What you observe? Look at the first picture. Picture number one up here. What you observe? What you observe right there, sir? Dylan, sir. Um, mm, go ahead. I'm listening. Right. I'm listening. Coach. Go ahead. For the first uh, I picture of the I shows that the lens contract contracts and the other show the lens relaxing. Okay then. All right. All right. So 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 you are seeing that. Okay. All right. Good. Terry, what about you? Sir, so what you observe? Sir, the lens, sir. What about the lens? One is smaller. One is smaller. Okay. And come, come. Uh, hold on. Let me, let, me, let me make something abundant. Sir, also the wait, wait, wait. Hold on. hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Do you want to get a grade one in this subject? Yes or no? Yes, sir. You're sure? Yes, sir. We'll prove it. Now, I give you guys a reason to talk in the class because when you go to the exam, you have to express yourself. So don't have me there a big one of a talk. Nonsense. Go ahead now. Tell me what you observe. Sir, when looking at a far object or uh, looking far away, the lens is smaller. Also, the ciliary muscle. And looking at a near object, the lens expands. And also, the ciliary muscle closer. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. No, that's what I expect. That's what I expect, right? All right. So um, the vet is saying ciliary muscle contracts. And of course, uh, the, as you said, the circumference decreases. Okay. I, I like that word, the vet. Now, yes, uh, Ms. Joseph, you can get a grade one if you follow instructions. Now, very good. I want you to be able to use your eyes. And in, it, when, it, when you're able to interpret a picture, it helps you and it, 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 it helps you to remember the thing longer. So don't let me beg again. Try, but you're trying to, so you're, you're looking. Tell me what you perceive. Don't try to figure out what I am perceiving. Tell me what you are seeing. There's nothing to calculate right there. You understand that? Yes, sir. Huh? Okay, yes, then. sir. Okay, then. Now, um, if you, you, you realize that, that Vivet used the word circumference. Let's look at it. So when you're looking at a far object, all right, I think that needs a different color, right? Red color. So let's clear that one. I use a red color instead. And a thicker line. Eh? Now, if you notice the circumference, the line that runs from one end to the other end. Good? That's the circumference. And if you look at the same thing right here, you realize that, as you mentioned, that the when you're looking at a far point, the circumference of the lens what, decreases 
But we're looking at a near point, the circumference of the lens, what? Increases. So that's correct. Good. So we're, what we're talking about, what we're describing right here is the accommodation part. So if you ask to explain how the eyes accommodates, this is, how, this is where it begins. All right. You mentioned um, some persons might confuse the word contract and relaxation of muscles. And let, let, let us get that, that confusion out of the way from now. All right, so we're going to define um, contraction of muscles. All right, define contract. Now, when we talk about contract, the word contract, and, 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 and let, let, as I said, one, I know some persons struggle with, with those two words at time. So we'll look at it, contract and relax. We're looking at these two words now, good? Now, the seller, it, when we say contract, it means that decrease in size, number, or range. Good? Make sense? So, it decrease in size. So, obviously, the ciliary muscles decreases in thickness, in thickness, right? As you can see, the ciliary muscles decreases in thickness based on the picture there. Therefore, it means then that what? It is stretching more. Because if you look at an elastic band, if you could find an elastic band, I don't know if any of you could find an elastic band. Anybody have an elastic band? Anybody have an elastic band? No, sir. You, you guys don't put elastic band in the ear? Not at all? All right. If you, have, if you have an elastic band and you stretch that elastic band, the, the circumference of it, when you stretch it, the, the, the circumference of it basically what? Um, decreases. And also... Also, the space between, it also decreases. Good? So, we'll talk about when, so when the muscle is contracting, it will appear thinner, but in fact, it's actually stretching. Make sense? Make sense? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. All right. Now, relaxing on the other, on the other hand is now, is that they, it will now increase in size. So as you can see, when the ciliary muscle is relaxing, it increases, it appears to increase in size. Therefore, it slackens. It slackens. Good? It slackens, right? Hello? Yes, sir. Good. All right. So always remember that if you are going to describe, it's so easy this picture is basically describing Accommodation. So if you have a picture, when they ask you to describe something in the exam, you don't have to use just source of words. You can draw a simple picture. And as simple as this picture, you can draw this picture and you, and you just write about it because the picture is now guiding you. Okay? Yeah, that is true, uh, Miss Joseph. Yeah, so so Teresa is saying um, the ciliary muscle contracts, its circumference decreases. Very good. And then Miss Joseph is saying now that, yeah, in an elastic band, it stretched until it reaches the elastic limit. Well, that is true as well. Good. So what we're seeing here, just of us, this simple diagram, um, and notice I, I don't have no paragraph, I don't have any sentence. But we're able to look at it and write what we see. And in writing what you see, you're describing it. Because you can only describe something that you, your senses have been associated with. So you can only describe what you smell. You can only describe what you see. You can only describe what you have heard. You can only describe what you have felt. And what you have tasted. So when you talk about description in the exam, you can draw something and write a little about it. And, and, and I keep giving these advice, but I don't see it coming out. Sorry, phone. Sorry, phone. Let's continue. The young lady who came to me last year, two weeks before the exam, she followed the instruction, and that's how I could tell her that she's going to get a grade two. You don't want me to pronounce for me great tonight. 
make sure after tonight, you know, step up the grade, step it up. It's grade ones I'm looking for. She came two weeks. I've been here from before two weeks. All right. Nothing less than a grade one. If you don't prepare to get a grade one, stop coming to my class. All right. Follow instructions. Now, let's continue. So, a simple picture basically describes it. So, if the stellar muscles in contracts, it appears to look what? Thinner, it decreases, and the lens, the circumference, the the diameter of the of the of the of the lens, not really circumference um vivet, but the diameter rather. It is the diameter, but not circumference vivet. It's the diameter. Good. Now, so the diameter that actually reduces or decreases the diameter of the lens decreases. And as the diameter, of the, if the diameter decreases, it is obviously going to look what? Thinner and therefore look more concave. Now, if you are looking at a near object now, the stellar muscle will relax into the slattens and the lens diameter increases and therefore you are able to see objects that are nearer. Now, that is for a person of a normal high eyesight. Good? Now, let's look at the other two pictures quickly. Focusing for near vision. So as you can see, when it's near, the lens thickens and rays from near object. So we have diverging lens. What does the word diverging mean? Now, there are two other words when we talk about eyes. Good. There are two other words when we're talking about eyes. Diverging. and converging. What do these words mean? Diverging and converging. Let's, look at, let's see what they mean. Diverging. I divert. If something is diverting, what, what, what happens right there, sir? If it's diverting, what happens? If something is diverting, what happens? Have you ever divert before? Um, no, sir. But looking from by observing picture, would see that mm, extend. Extend. Mm. All right, that's what you see. Okay, okay. It extend. All right. I want you to compare. A nice try. That's what I like when you try. I like that. I want you to compare this picture with this one. I want you to compare both of them. All right, well, um, um sure, sir? yeah, yeah. The one that says focusing near and the one that says focusing far vision. Compare okay. the light rays of both of them. Light rays. Compare the, the, the light rays of both of them. All right, while you guys are comparing, I am seeing where uh, Vivette says diversion means bend. Well, <laughs> change position, sir. It, what, what you said, Teresa? Change position. Change position. Okay. All right. But, but I, I want you to, 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 no, to, um, the, the light rays is yes. passing through the lens. Yeah. Um, the diverging one, it's not going through it. It's not necessarily going through it. So it looks like it's actually doing what? Good, yeah. It's not going through it. If it's not going, going through it, what? Sorry, that looks like it's going over it. Or... All right. Take a good look at it. Take a good look. I want you to take a very good look at it. Look at it good. And while you're thinking, um, so it's not really bending of such um, vivid. Uh, we hear... Ms. Joseph saying convex and concave lens. Okay. Um, thin layer structure. All right. And we see that Vivid is saying converging lens bends lights towards before they enter the eye. All right. But we'll soon get to that. We we'll soon get to that. 
Good. Soon get to that. But we want to know though, when you compare, you said that, you said that the, 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 with the far object, the lines, are, the lines go through the, the, the lens. But for the near object, it's not going through it. Okay, fine. Fine. What? So how it looks then? Diverging. What, what it looks like it's doing? It sure looks like it just stopped right there and then it reflects. Right. Right. I, I want to look at my hands. Look, look at my hands now. If yes. I'm going like this, both hands are doing that. Same direction? Same direction. You don't see that on the picture. And if I'm going like this, both hands are doing what? Opposite direction. They ain't set by the picture. They ain't set up by the picture. Hey. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so when you talk about diverging, if they, they are going, the, the lens, are, the, the light rays are going in opposite, they are going separate. They are going separate. They are, that, they're going separate. That's, that's why I go wide. That's why I go wide, right? Clear what it's showing is going wide. It comes from one place, but they are going what wide. Well, where where for if the object is far now, they are coming straight in the same direction. Make sense? So you'll have diverging rays if the object is near, but the object is far. You'll have parallel. Rays, all right. Make sure. Good. All right. Okay. So, uh, vivid is saying converging lens bends the lights towards before the light enter. Okay. All right. Fine. Good. All right. Now, so, so, so here we're looking at. So, so what vivid is saying to us now is that the 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 when the lens itself is convex, it will converge the diverging. Um, rays very good with it, all right. So let's let's define now converging. Now, so if diverging means that they're going separate, what converging mean then? What does the word converging mean? Anybody? Um, Terry said, if you're speaking to me, your mic, your mic is muted. Terry, I wasn't saying anything. Well, I need you to say something. <laughs> no, honestly, to, to so be honest I'm with thinking, you, if I saw I'm not going to be able to do Well, I'm going to be very straight up with you. If I saw not going to do the thing, better not watch a class from YouTube. I tell you, I'm going to have to take in um, there are people from YouTube. They are typing and they are, they are communicating from there. And as I keep quiet. Me not like the vibes though. All right, make my night. Don't spoil it. All right, if me prefer you talk foolishness that you don't talk at all. That my prefer. I am here to correct, and I don't the sign language. Okay. No, what were you saying now? So I was thinking diverging is going um, separate direction. Yes. I was wondering if the converging, that's the word you use? Yes, converging. Is it going in the same direction? Same direction. Good. So, so when we talk about converging now, it tends to meet at a point, coming together. Good. So as Vivet says, I, I, I'm, I'm, as Vivet says, that the converging lens will bend the diverging rays. Note that no, you know. Converging lens bends diverging range, diverging rays rather, towards the retina. That is what's taking place. Good. So the diverging, the converging lens will converge the diverging rays towards the 
retina. Bend it towards retina. Good. All right. Make note of that. Um, I am seeing in the chat here that, so Viveto's right, correct. Viveto's right there. Um, Cherny says it goes towards instead of going outward. All right. Very good. And um, she also says, but how do I talk? Because actually this is my first time live. Oh, you talk? <laughs> well, if you want to talk, you want to hear your voice, uh, Miss Joseph, you have to join us on Zoom. All right? You have to join us on Zoom. But you're talking right there, typing. And I do appreciate that. I wish these people in here would talk. All right, talk. Good. So, to, so, so however now, now what type of lens then would relate to the parallel lines? To the converging lines. What type of lens then would relate to parallel lines? What type of lens then would, would you use for parallel lines? Repeat the question, sir. What type of lens is used for the parallel lines? So if converging lens is used for diverging um rays then what type of lens is used for parallel rays at least guess yes yes sir did huh come again huh no my friend makes no 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 I don't I don't want to tell me what the shape no I want to talk in terms of this, the function of the lens now. It, it will be more be the, 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 the diverging lens. The opposites. So if, if, if the diverging lens is refracted, is the diverging rays rather, is refracted by the converging lens, then it, then it means that the parallel lens now is refracted by the what? The diverging lens. Follow now? Follow now? No, sir. All right. It's, it's really the convex lens, yes. Or, or, or you would want to call it the, 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 the concave lens, rather. Good. Good. So the concave lens does it. It, 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 it makes it more less convex. All right. Let, let me take it to, it to the first one quickly. But well, you have to use the eyes and try to describe. Try. Good. All right, I'm seeing, um, okay, very good, Gabriel, diverging lens, excellent. Um, Sharon, Sharon is saying it is shifting. Okay, I, I guess it just came on, Sharon, just came on. But thank you for your, your response as well. All right, so focusing far near vision. Let's look at it. So the lens right here, it thickens and the object is far. And then you have the suspensory ligament slangs, as we discussed earlier. Good. And then the lens, what? Thickens. The lens basically thickens. It thickens. So if the lens is, is, is getting more convex, it thickens. Just like when you stretch the elastic, the, the tension, the tension elastic gets get stronger. Good. You recognize that? When you're pulling, when you're stretching the elastic band, the tension in there. You can feel that force trying to pull it together. Good. So the lens thickens in this case. All right. Now, and of course, the ciliary muscles will contract. And the ciliary muscles contract. We know what will happen. Good. Contract, decrease. All right. Now. All right. So let's look at the second picture now below here. Focusing for far vision. So in this case, when the object is far, the lens are parallel, and then notice the ciliary muscles can't relaxes and causing the lens to become what? less convex. Good? And the light, and the, then the lens now becomes thinner. Good? And of course, the suspender ligaments become thought. So it, 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 it's, it's no longer slang. But in a sense, thickens. Good? All right. So you can watch over this part of the video 
Okay. Oh, Sharon is your classmate. Okay, Bibet. Thank you very much and welcome, Sharon. Welcome to class, Sharon. I hope you'll do well. Oh, Vivet. Vivet, the care of threat. Vivet, I want you to win tonight. Vivet, I want you to win the competition tonight. There are certain people, boy, they are, they are, they are, they are, yes, there is. I want to Vivet win tonight. All right. I get serious noise. As a draw close to the exam, a grade one me I work for. That me I work for. So make sure you yeah, work for the same thing too. And Mr. Say, you fool yourself. Me, I'm going to make you know you're a fool yourself. You understand that? You understand that, ma'am? You miss Powell? Uh, miss Powell, you understand that too? Miss Powell? Your mic is muted. All right. What is happening in this picture? Describe what is happening here. What is happening in this picture? What is happening in this picture? See, they have to keep uh, have the book ours and cell phone at that distance. At a distance, so therefore, this kind of person is what then? Okay. This person is kind of what then? Eh? Isn't it kosher? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You sure? <laughs> no, first said it, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> before I said, sir, before, before I said, this is why I mix up. Okay, then that, that, that's what I say. You no, know, a picture is very important. If you describe the picture, you'll see it. Yes, um, Alicia, they, 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 they are far sighted. Um, Shani says he could only see at far distance. Yes, um, Ms. Joseph, you are correct. And um, Vivet says that it's a different way of difficulty seeing near objects. All right, is it that um, it's near? Well, yeah, it, it, yeah that is true, Vivet. Well, well said, well said. All right, so. We're going to talk about you now how we correct you now this eye defect. Okay. Here we are. And we're going to, before we go to our worksheet, we're going to the competition. Then after the competition, we return to the worksheet. So prepare yourselves for the competition. And Elaine says he's farsighted. Well said as well. Now, if it is long sighted, what are the causes? The eyeball is short. The retina, the, the object is formed behind the retina. Good. Or the focal point is behind the retina, as you can see. And this, this one is an hyper, hyperopia. Hyperopia. Good. I have the myopia. All right. So opia means sighted. Good. Mayo means short and hype means far. As you can see, when a person a hype them going them big and mighty and great, far. Good. All right. Now, so let's 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 review it now. Let's review it now. If you are far sighted, the object is formed behind the retina because the eyeball is short. If the if you are, when you are nearsighted, the object is formed before the retina or the focal point is, is placed before the retina because the eyeball is long. Now, what type of lens is used to correct hyperopia or long-sighted? What type of lens is used to correct it? What type of lens? Convex. Convex. Good. Convex lens. And that's what they need to know. What type of lens is used to correct? Um, no, 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 not not convex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Far side is convex. True, correct. What type of lens is used to correct um, nearsightedness? Concave. Concave. All right. Good. That's all they need to know. So if I were you, and I want to ensure that I remember, a matter of fact, next week, come with a presentation. You know on a video? Come with a presentation. And I want to see the lens, and the convex, and the concave, and the strips. I want to see it. Come with a presentation. Because this part of the syllabus, I believe the eye is going to come. The long time the eye not come, 
and I suspect the eye that might come. And I don't want you to come. And they said, Lord, I should have listened to sir. And you call me, so you know, Michelle, listen, I, I don't want to hear it. I want to hear, sir, you know, me did, me did listen. And a good thing, me did listen. And do you say, that is what I want to hear. All right. All right. So, so we are at, so we're going to end the presentation now. Then we go to the worksheet after the competition. So we're going to get into the competition now. All right. Then we're going to review the lesson before we go back, before we go to the worksheet. So we're going to review the lesson. They will go to the worksheet. So everybody can be properly prepared for the worksheet. All right. Let me jump off in there, buddy. Let's go. So now we're going to go to the competition time. It's time for the competition now. Um, for those persons who are just joining us, um, we have persons compete, persons in Zoom um, compete against those persons in, um, in YouTube. Good. So I, I hope you guys are now ready to take on the task. All right. So hope you have been, this quiz will tell me if persons have been revising, reviewing their notes and stuff like that. If not, um, and of course, if they're costing them out tonight, I hope that they will still win tonight. But um, Rivette is saying that she's going for the win. Um, we see Gabriel. I hold on. I want all my, my friends from YouTube to participate in this. Now. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. So I want Elaine to participate. I want Vivette to participate. I want Miss Joseph to participate. I want Rel Rolena Austin to participate. I want Gabriel to participate. Jennifer to participate. I also want um, Alisa to participate. I want Sharon to participate. I want all of you to participate. And guess what? Tonight might just be a giveaway night. As, yeah, you know, I feel, I feel, I feel. Come uh, pay a school fee. Oh. <laughs> All right. I feel, um, I feel, I feel like giving away something tonight. So let us see. Now, you have to do very well. Not only win the competition, but you have to win it to that very high score. Yes. I feel like giving away something tonight. So I'm going to put the link in the chat. So look for the link in the chat. Don't take too long to join now, folks. I want to put a link in the YouTube chat right now as well. The link is now in the YouTube chat. So I want you guys now to start jumping on let the games begin so jump on jump on i want to see there should be at least 12 competitors tonight so click on the link please click on the link in the youtube chat click on the link in the zoom chat you guys know what to do vivid vivid cara you know carapassi is in the youtube group <laughs> Vivette Carapassi. So Nicosia is on. Vivette is on. Wow. <laughs> so they're now in the blocks, getting ready, warming up. Um, Gabriel is on. Okay. Teresa. Elaine is on. Okay. So we have Elaine is on. We have Gabriel is on. We have Vivette, Nicosia. Where are the rest of you? Teresa, where are you, ma'am? You leave in the coach in the cold. The coach can manage herself, yes, but I mean, come. All right, so we have um, Elaine, we have Gabriel, Vivette, and we have Nikosha. Where's Teresa? Where is um, Alicia? Um, 
Ali says on. Wow. Wow. This is going to be a lovely competition tonight. Uh, I bet that, where are the rest of you? Come on. That is five. Come on. Where is um, Miss Joseph? Sharon? We have Alicia. We have Elaine. We have Gabriel. We have Bivette. Nikosha, Teresa, why are you not on, on as yet, miss? Are you vexing me? Come here. I have to push you. Forget the best result. I'm pushing you. We're going to have a nice bouncing baby, boy or girl. The exam comes. All right. Jennifer is on. Okay. Six competitors. Where are the rest of you? Come, come, come. All right. Terry says no on. So the Zoom team is ready. All right. Anybody is this coming on? Where's Miss Joseph? Come on, Miss Joseph. Where are you? Come on, Sharon. Miss Joseph, come on. Where are the rest of you? Uh, Miss Joseph, you need to try, you know. Miss Joseph, you need to try. You better try. Come, try. It's, it's fun. All right, well, we're counting. Giving you one minute to join or two minutes to join. So we're going to start in two, three minutes and start the conversation in three minutes. So we have Teresa on, Jennifer is on, Alicia is on, Elaine is on, Gabriel is on, Vivette is on, and Nikosha is on. What a night is it tonight? Okay. Where's Sharon? Sharon, where are you? Click on the link in the YouTube chat. Yeah, tell her from here a bit. <laughs> Come, let's play this one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Miss Joseph, where are you? All right, we have two minutes left to go. Two minutes left to go to start the competition. Two minutes left to go to start the competition. Two minutes left to start the competition. Two minutes remaining. Nervous system. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. Nervous system. Nervous system. And I think, um, yeah, nervous system on something else is there. All right, come. Well, uh, where's, where's Austin? Where's Ronella Austin? Where, where, where is that person? <clears throat> come on, Sharon. Come, come. It's Joseph. Two minutes left to go to start. We have Teresa, we have Jennifer, we have Alicia, we have Elaine, we have Gabrielle, Vivette, and Nikosha. I'm about to click the starting button. My friends are ready to go. I'm going to click the start button. Please hurry up and come on. All right, folks, waiting for you to join. We can fast. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One minute to go, then we're gonna click the start button. Well, there's a little story about this competition tonight. We understand that Vivet is destined to this, a set of, I've sent a threat to the, to the Zoom team that she's going to win tonight. Um, I know that Nikosha is back and Teresa has won. Teresa win last week. You won um, the maths commission. I got the maths commission you won. All right. And I know that um, Nikosha is here. Yeah. A maths and of, bio, sir. Oh, maths and bio. Yes, yes. So Teresa had won maths and bio. So we want to see if tonight will be a new winner tonight. If Vivette is really going to go strong tonight. Or will our friend Sharon beat her tonight? We're going to start the quiz now, Alicia. We're going to start right now. Let's go. Let's go. All right. And it's on. Let's start it out first. Let's start the second. Porsche went on third again. Time's 
Well, let's the leaderboard. Who's who has taken the lead so far? Well, Vivet is out there. <laughs> Vivet is out there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Vivet still leads. Uh, the YouTube team is coming up. see wow elaine is on top teresa is in second what's going on here tonight <laughs> elaine is on top <laughs> are the three types of muscles <clears throat> yes can you just see the it as well Is coming up. Okay. Uh, Vivette and Teresa has dropped to fifth and sixth. Elaine is still on top. Is this Elaine's night? Let us see. Night is prize night. says on top wow what's going on here what's going on here <laughs> this is a tight competition tonight wow <laughs> come jennifer try something jennifer try something
coach is back in second and he says still in the lead. Still early time, still early time. 43 questions. changes okay yeah so the answer for that one oh you see the answer for that one well we will we, we'll see them after the competition <laughs> Gabriel is in second. Okay. This is a tight one, a very tight competition tonight. <clears throat> For those who are just joining us tonight, we're in our competition segment. Tonight is a giveaway night. And the winner will receive a prize tonight. Is back in second. Well, Alicia is in the lead. Will she maintain this lead? Alicia, will you maintain a lead tonight? And Elaine, rather. No, it's Alicia leading. It's Alicia leading tonight. Gabriel is in second. Lisa continues to lead. Wow. Hmm. What's the scientific name for the job? Wow. Lisa continues to lead. Changes okay, so everybody, everybody get a share of the point. <laughs> okay, then. 
is a continuous stretch. Bones at the end of our fingers and toes are known as what? Kosha, Teresa, out. Come, Jennifer, try something, man. What's going on with you, Jennifer? Changes. Mm-hmm. Alisa is leading. Gabriel is in second. Will Alisa win tonight? What's going on here? Oh, it's not a share of the point, huh? <laughs> Rally says leading. now is in second place. Alisa continues to lead. Hmm. Remember, you have to be quick at the quick at the press. Down the feet joints are the elbow. Hmm. This is going somewhere. The vet. Okay. So we're seeing a close battle here between the Kosha and Alicia. Who will win? Is it Clarendon or is it Hanover? Who will win tonight? This one again twice, eh? Has taken over in second place. Alicia maintains the lead. Well, Alicia. I got it correct. Well, well done. <laughs> 
Sharon said, Come on, Sharon. Sharon, you should be joining the game, man. Sharon, why you never join the game? Sharon, why you didn't join the game, Sharon? It's not on the fun. Gabriel on top. Gabriel finally is on top. Wow. Lisa. Lisa was leading for a long while On top, Teresa came up. <coughs> a few more as a long boat. Name the bone located at number 12. Oh, you're late. Sharon, they can still join, Sharon. They can still join. Sharon, they can still join. Just click on the link and you still can join, Sharon. We have a lot more questions to go. Sharon, they can still join. Right, Gabriel is in the lead. Alisa in second, Nikosha in third. And Teresa is taking the, her time to come up. This is a marathon. Yes, it is a marathon race. <laughs> One point of the skeleton system is actually in regards to the vital organs of the brain, protect and lungs. Brain heart. continues to lead hmm. he says push back into second place he coaches in third who will win tonight part of the brain in charge of involuntary actions just breathing and heartbeat Sticky one. <coughs> so we have 23 more left to go. Half of the round is finished. Well, 20 questions left. It's actually part of three. 20 questions remaining. Okay, who has joined? Sharon joined. Okay, very good, Sharon. Come and take up some points, Sharon. You have 20 questions to get some points. Are just thinking and memory. If you had, if you had made the notes last class, you'd have gotten some points. Teresa is now running up. Let us see if she will win tonight. <laughs> hmm. Which 
part of the neuron transmit impulses to other neurons. So four persons got it correct. Okay. <laughs> Come, Sharon, answer one question. is coming up back again this is a very sticky competition what Gabriel is still on top. So the answer was the peripheral system, exactly. This coming up. <coughs> Come on, she has studied from last week, and she has studied. Gabriel is leading. Will this lead? How long will Gabriel lead for? We'll have a few more questions to go. peripheral nervous system. Elaine, why you can't continue, Elaine? Why you cannot continue, Elaine? Elaine, why you cannot continue? Then why you cannot continue? So 
land and breath. Oh, you're sick. What happened to you? It's peripheral. Uh, what is wrong with it? Just, just, just describe what does that mean. So I can, I can probably say what you can do. Chemical produced by neurons that carries messages to other neurons. We have 12 questions remaining. All right, you, you, will, you will get better, Ilya. No worry yourself. Just get some water to drink. Make sure you're getting some water to drink. So Gabriel is still leading with 12 questions remaining. 11 questions to go. Gabriel is still leading. 11 questions to go. Gabriel continues to lead. Alicia now in second place. Theresa in third. Nine more questions to go. No changes. Gabriel continues to lead. Teresa in third. Kosha, what's going on? is really gonna be a tough one Gabriel continues to lead 
with an excited match so far. He's a, he's a lead for some long time. Gabriel has now taken over the lead. Alisa come back to the top. Or will Gabriel stay at the top? Well, we have five questions to go. Five questions to go. And remember, the very last question can make a big difference. We saw it happen last week. We know it can make a big difference. She's in third. Take over from Teresa. So now it's coming down to the wire. Four more questions to go. It's coming down to the wire now. Will Gabriel remain the winner? Will Gabriel win? Will Alicia win? Or will Teresa or Nikosha surprise the pack? changes on this one well this is a this is going to be a, a, a it's a big race a two-year gland is the correct answer for that one So we have three more questions to go. And will these three questions decide the winner? Gabriel is in the lead. In second, we have Alicia. Which are the speaker system stores you would like to manage? This is an easy one. No changes. Gabriel continues to lead. Two more questions to go. One more. is really so we have one last question to go let's see what leaderboard says gabriel is in the lead alisa in second nikosha is still in the top three tonight all right so well last question let us see if alisa will take this one or will it be gabriel 
will win this one. This is an exciting race tonight. It's really um, good. This is good. One. All right. Okay. Leaderboard. Well, 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 well. Back wall of the abdomen. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. You guys can return to the class now. You can come back to. To watch my screen. Um, a very competitive race. Very competitive race. We're going to review some of the tough, the longest questions, the toughest questions. Um, congratulations to Gabriel. Congratulations, to Alicia. And of course, congratulations, to Nikosha. You still are in the top three. Well, Teresa, better luck next time. I don't have a vex it vex with me, but Good job. All right, so um, Vivet, you, you have tried, you have tried, but Alicia, um, I've done very well tonight. Well done, job well done. How was it? How was it tonight? How was it? How was it? How was it? How was it? How was it, How was it tonight? And I must, I must commend Sharon for participating. Uh, Sharon has. Our first time has participated. Uh, very good. Um, Gabriel, you'll get your prize. It's a very high score, 79%. Very high score. Um, uh, let me start with the, our competitors. Um, Sharon, very good. You have participated. Excellent. Um, that is your first time you have participated, which was very good. Um, Elaine started off good as well, but... Um, hope you'll do, you, you will get better soon, Elaine, so you can do better next time. Um, Vivet, you tried. I can see that you tried. You tried, Vivet, you tried. But you have to tell me what went wrong there. All right, Vivet is saying congratulations to everyone. Um, Teresa, 74% of the mark. Um, you and Alisa tied in terms of the percentage of the score, but you, you, you apparently did not respond fast enough this time around. Nikosha got 67% of the score, but still came third because she responded faster to the question. So for the quiz um, students, you have to respond quick in order to be in the top three. And Alicia, oh my God, Alicia was out there in the beginning. Um, very good, Alicia. You have done well tonight. Very good. You have done well tonight in the top two. Very good. And of course, job well done. When we then Gabriel now, I mean, Gabriel started to take it, to take it and maintain it. For a while, I thought that Alicia was going to win. But Gabriel says no. Well, um, I want to learn. I want before I look at the before I review the questions. I I want to find out what were the lessons that you guys learned tonight. I was wondering, Terry, is around gone? What are the lessons you learned from this quiz tonight? Before we go to the worksheet, what are some of the lessons you learned from the quiz tonight? What lessons did you learn from the quiz tonight? What lessons have you learned from the quiz tonight? I don't, I, what lessons? What, what, what lessons do you learn tonight from the quiz? What lessons have you learned from the quiz tonight? What lessons? That I need to study more. Thank you very much, Miss Gordon. You have to study more. You have to study more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Teresa, you vexed me. <laughs> Teresa? No, sir. Why would I do that? Oh, I was wondering. I was wondering. No, sir. What list have you learned from it tonight? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must learn a lesson. Yeah. 
All right. While while you're contemplating the list, you have learned tonight. Um okay, Alicia says she has learned her weakest areas. Okay, all right, Alicia. All right, okay. Um anybody else, what lessons have you learned? And I must say thanks to Jennifer as well for joining the quiz, but I hope that next time you will in fact try to answer at least one question. But congratulations still, all right? Um, we're gonna look at the toughest questions that were asked. Um, let us see, the toughest questions, and let, let's look at them first, toughest questions. This question, and nobody got it right. Um, I hope you make, make note of it. What type of bone is the patella? It is actually at the knee, but that's the type of bone it is. The sesam morbid. All right. Okay. That was the toughest question. Question seven. Now, the longest question 21 seconds on average. The function of the red bone marrow is two. All right, so we saw this one, you know, you have to, you have to answer all the questions, select like all of them. Um, form red blood cells, that's one of the, the um, functions of the red bone marrow. Um, formation of the white blood cell, that's what WPC means, white blood cell. Okay, well, Vivet says last week she came third, which is true. That is true, Vivet. Um, Gabriel says, sir, I learned that you have the ascending and descending loop of NL. I didn't know that, sir. I learned lots uh, I didn't know about, sir. Okay, Gabriel, and congratulations to you again. Vivet says that she needs to study more on the nervous system. You are so right. Sharon says, um, need to put in a lot more work. You are so right. Okay. All right. So let's just look at some other questions here. Um, most persons got this one right. Okay, interesting facts. That's what interesting facts says to us. So we have average taking time is 25 seconds and four correct for this one. All right, so most persons got that one correct. We go through the rest. Oh, incorrect. What type of bone? We looked at we look at this one already. Okay, good. The form, we looked at this already. Okay, and this the this is in one of the videos. This is in one of the videos, ladies. The skull bones, um, and the vertebral column. Even even if you didn't know the other bone, but at least could identify the skull bones and the vertebral column. Um, bones are found in in which skeleton? What was the correct answer here? What was the correct answer here for this? The axial. Axial, axial skeleton. Axial. Good. Very good. And this is how many parts? The answer for it was 12, right? Good. What was the scientific name? The man, the bill. All right. So most persons got these correct. Okay. So you see, you got them correct, but it's how long you took to answer the questions made a difference, right? Most persons got a lot of, a lot of questions correct there. Right, so this one, we have the, what, what, what was the answer for this one? What was the answer for that one? Cerebellum. Good. All right. So Alisa says um, she thought that the patella was the flat bone. Well, <clears throat> no, no, no. All right. This was the picture of the peripheral nervous system. Good. And this one, this one here was a melon sheet. We both spoke about this last week, you know. Spoke about this last week. Okay. 
and E, E was what? Cell bed. The cell body. Body. <laughs> yes, he was a cell body. <laughs> He was a cell body. I was going to pay attention to the diagram last week. See what I was sir, I get about. that one correct. Oh, you got, you got it correct? Okay, yes, okay, sir. okay, okay. Good, good, good. Very good. You say memory at work? No, sir. Okay, this one, most persons got this one correct. This one incorrect, rather. The part of the neurons towards the... the part of the neurons, terminal. The what? The, the axion, axion terminal. Axion terminal. Very good. That word was very... That was big on the... The lesson last week. Action it was, terminal. sir. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, Alisa, next, uh, uh, next, next time, Alisa, what you have to do is to click on the picture and you'll be able to see it better. Oh, so probably if Alisa would have, you hear that, Gabriel. <laughs> the part of the nephron where fluid is absorbed from the circulatory system is the what? What was the answer? Moving capsule. The what? Oh, Bowman's yeah. capsule. <laughs> okay. Right. Eh? <laughs> Which one you chose? Yeah, that's the one I chose. Okay, okay, okay. So I said um, I'm falling asleep. You were falling asleep? I am. Sir, I'm falling asleep from class start. You're serious? Work was hectic today, sir. I'm tired. That means I'm my head start. is here killing me. That's I'm trying to start. Well, you need water. I keep telling you to drink some water. I drink water. Okay. The, all right. The part of the nephron that primarily reabsorb water is what? Reabsorb? Mm -hmm. One person got this correct. The part of the nephron that primarily reabsorbs water is what? Say so one of the loop of NL. It will have the ascend the descending loop of NL. I think it's descending one. All right. I think, I think, I'm going to check it and see something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, descending. descending. Exactly. Descending. And descending means going down, right? The the the, the, the ascending one will have reabsorbed salt somewhere, somewhere along there. And the water and salt reabsorption in the circulatory system mostly is done by glomerulus. Sir, pronounce that sir, that G word there. Glomerulus. Glomerulus. And one person got this correct as well, and the answer is a loop of NL. Loop of NL. The high pressure capillary yes. network that pushes fluid out of the bloodstream is there? Yeah, man, that's CMG word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you get it incorrect, don't it? <laughs> no, sir. I think I get that one correct. Okay, 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 okay. Um, ADH is produced by the pituitary gland. gland. So I get the one wrong. Okay, you get it wrong? Mm -hmm. okay, pituitary gland. Are you just a general gland? It looks so. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> the part of the nephron where they... Vivet, they go into bed? Bowman's capsule, sir. All right, well, Bowman's capsule. Okay, all right. Before you go to bed, um, ladies, uh, say in the chat oh, how was tonight's class. Let me know how was tonight's class. Those persons in the YouTube chat, let me know how was tonight's class. Oh, you got that one correct. Okay, Vivet. Very good. So the pardon different where fluid is absorbed from circular system is Bowman's capsule. Okay, which organ? All right, most persons got that correct. What is two? Ureter. Where are the kidneys located? In the back the wall of the abdomen. Okay, so this was a, we will leave the worksheet for, um, we will leave the worksheet for, for next week, to start the top next week, um, before we get into the, the endocrine system. And, Please revise. This is check. You need to revise, revise and revise and revise because you don't know where the quiz is coming from. So you got to revise. All right. So how was the class tonight for you, Teresa? Even though you did not perform at your best. Sorry, tonight. it was okay. It was okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Wonderful. 
All right, so Vivet says the class was awesome. You were drinking some water, ma'am. We go to bed. The rest of the class was awesome. I learned a lot. Well done, ladies. Congratulations. Good. Vivet says, sir, please do the quiz for the first next class. Okay, Vivet. I, I promise I'll do the quiz for the first next class. Um, sir, tonight's class was fun, exciting, and very informative. That's what Gabriel said. All right. Good night to you, Vivet. All right, for those who are just coming on, um, ensure to subscribe. If you never subscribed before, subscribe to our channel so you can, and, and click on the notification bell as well. Alisa says class was fun. Was very nervous about the quiz though. Okay, Alisa was nervous. <laughs> That's how competitive it is, eh? You're nervous. All right. Okay, not bad. Um, so Sharon to the class was interesting. Okay, Sharon, thank you for that comment. Um, okay, good night, Vivet. Okay, so Sharon to the class was interested. And I want to say thanks to the thanks to the Vivet for you know inviting your friends. That was very good. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to all the persons who were on YouTube tonight. You have really made tonight's class a very interactive class. And thanks to you again, Teresa. And you, you know, I'm upset though, right? Yeah, I'm very upset, right? Um, thanks to you, to, to, to Nikosha as well, and represented TDP Labs well in terms of remaining the top three. Um, thanks to Elaine, even though you're not feeling so well, hope you'll get better soon for participating. Uh, thanks to Ms. Joseph for participating. Thanks to Renella Austin for participating. And... Um, Hope I've not missed out anyone. Thanks to Alicia, Gabriel, and you know yourselves. You have done a very good job tonight. Um, please to like if you like. I, I not beg nobody to like this. Not. So if you don't like it, gonna like it. If you don't, gonna don't. So if you like it, click on the like button. If you don't, click on the don't like button. Right? Be honest. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys to. Okay, good night. Alicia says good night to her friends. Very good. All right, I'm going to ask you to share the link with your friends and their family. And thanks to Vivette, you have, you have really been spreading the news for us. And we are happy and we do appreciate that. All right, so it's a very good night. Oh, announcements, announcements. Now, we will be, our, our last streaming night will be on the 28th of April. So we finish streaming. We have... We have the 7th, which is today. We have next week, God's willing, the 21st and the 28th. So we have three more streaming classes left for before exams. Our marathon classes begins in the month of May. Now, if you want to be a part of the marathon sessions, which is on Zoom, beginning in May, for mathematics, is the first two weeks of May, we'll be doing the marathon sessions for mathematics and for human and social biology, you can't miss this one because the last time a particular teacher who taught the students before the exam, they got 75% pass. The, the person who didn't pass, she had a little learning difficulty. And of course, um, she will be back. She will be taking charge with the co-teaching, but she'll be mostly the one taking charge of the the human and social biology two weeks marathon class, which is scheduled for the last two weeks in May. So in the last two weeks in May, we'll be having our human and social biology marathon session. The first two weeks in May, we'll be having a maths marathon session. We will not be streaming those classes. No class will be streaming in May, except for, well, no English language streaming either. Okay, so that's the announcement. Um, next week, we'll be putting out the form in the chat for those persons from YouTube who want to participate in those marathon classes. And if you want to participate, you'll be informed how to get your chance to participate. And of course, um, Gabriel, I have your award for you. Hope you're still there. Please send me a text in the um, in the Send me a text, Gabriel. 
in you in in on, on WhatsApp. Oh, my WhatsApp number for Miss Joseph. Uh, WhatsApp number is WhatsApp number. Gabriel, send me the WhatsApp number so I can send you your price, please. That's three two four. Eight four four one. All right. So look out next week for the the form to sign up if you want to participate in the marathon session, and it will be directed to how to do so. All right. Well, that's it. That's a wrap. Please do have yourselves a wonderful night. Thank you very much. There is a go and get some water. Get some water, Teresa, get some water. And I, I will ask my, 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 F, my CFO, well, I'll ask CDP Lab CFO if she will allow us to give away a, a seat for the Maritans. Um, and I think in that the persons who win the last three consecutive Last three consecutive. Um, Trying to go with this. Sorry. Because we not do maths and we not practice maths and them something there. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It has to be that way. It has to be that way. All right. The persons who win the last three consecutive uh, maths quizzes will get a seat. I will, I will ask that you get a seat in the marathon session. And the person in the last three consecutive human and social magic quiz will also get a seat in the a free seat in the marathon session for um, human and social biology. So you have so to sir, win. If I win three. them, sir, I don't have to pay the extra money, right, sir? I get free seats. <laughs> no, no, no. That that, that promotion is only for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you want you want me to really kill me? <laughs> no, no, can't do that. They, 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 it's only for YouTube persons. I have to give something to the YouTube person. They, they've always been here. I have to give them something. All right? So you have to win the last three consecutive um, quizzes to, to, to participate in the marathon without paying for it. Um, and if you want to do it for the maths, the last three consecutive. And consecutive mean you have to win on the 14th, win on the 21st, and win on the 28th. So... Come prepared to win, win, win. And of course, we want to give God thanks for really spending our lives each night. And I pray that Elaine will get better. Elaine, you will, you will get better. All right. Um, you guys need to start eating healthy. You know, it's very important that you eat healthy at this time. Um, those who are doing exams, you need to start having your oatmeal. The oatmeal is very important for those persons who are doing exams. All right. So that's it for tonight. Good night, Teresa. Have a wonderful night. Same to you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Gabriel, where's the text message, ma'am?
So fight for those. Yeah, yeah. Let me take the youth and bring them back in at the school house. I education was saying no. Money come after. Yo, shell that kid. Yeah. Yo, Jojo, pull a genie. I want to them. If they want to go to school. Yeah. Get your education, me a beg on revise Where you learn from class, me a tell on no ass Cause it's a hard, it's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes, you say that your grass Where them tell on no Go get your education, me a beg on revise Where you learn from class, me a tell on no Cause it's a hard, it's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes, you say that your grass Where them tell on no Now the machine, I better you go the dashing Instead of you, the panic corner And I get your head machine The little youth, them nowadays They need to learn for love, for real And recognize for your survivor Education are the key youth From job I just KC and JC If I link your pad down Made a broken papine Calabar and don't know them Till free the news Now bada pick up the two Cause of the books So no fi read and So get the education Me a beg on a revise Where you learn from class Me a tell on no ass Cause it's a hard It's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes you say that your grass Where them tell on no Go get your education Me a beg on a revise Where you learn from class Me a tell on no Cause it's a hard It's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes you say that your grass Where them tell on no Back in all the school days, me used to have it hard, but me also go to school anyway. Mama never get fear, but that never stop me from getting the education serious. So, you, you, pressure on the book, take your mind out for the can and have some notes to overlook. They want to see you turn a teacher or a doctor or a lawyer, anything you really want, I just a turn in and a group. Girls, 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 before you back it up, make sure you wrap it up. Before you be a man and be a woman, cause stay in a school, cause you are gonna need the knowledge, and you wait and go to college, cause we have a career is a must. So get your education, me a beg on a revise Where you learn from class, me a tell on no Cause it's not hard, it's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes, you say that your grass where they tell on no Go get your education, me a beg on a revise Where you learn from class, me a tell on no Cause it's not hard, it's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes, you say that your grass where they tell on no You start to a class, me a tell on no Every time you fi pass me a tell on no I'm bench warm, I said this me a fi tell on no No farm full sunny hard, me a beg on no Cause now one day we get a job, me a tell on no No easy a papers, they want me a tell on no Now buy your life for them self and the kind of youth Get your education cause the future we a tell on no Queens, think before you drop your jeans Sent yours, refuse the abuse A new school in them Your grandma said you use them to go to school I saw the thing said, education, unification, right in the mind. Hear this? Yeah. Go get your education, me a beg on a revise Where you learn from class, me a tell on no Cause it's a hard, it's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes, you say that your grass where they tell on no Go get your education, me a beg on a revise Where you learn from class, me a tell on no Cause it's a hard, it's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes, you say that your grass where they tell on no Back in all my school days, me used to have it hard But mama used to go to school anyway Mama never get paid But that never stop me from getting my education same way So youth, youth, pressure on the book Gonna school, Gonna school. New school, New school. New school. Alright, that's a wrap Good night, take care, all the best